Hello, friends and subscribers. I found a new book today, and I did a video on one of these books about, you know, half a year ago. And um, the other one is, I guess it's sequel, but interestingly, it <clears throat> has some aspects of na antinatalism in the books. So I'm going to go through some select pages here. And I'm just going to skip around to the book, to the, to the pages that I felt applied to antinatalism. And the very last page of this book, um, I, I'm going to have a real winner of a comment. <clears throat> You wouldn't be so happy if you knew about all the troubles in this world. Being a dog is not the greatest thing in the world. We have a lot of disadvantages. What I'm trying to say is life is hard enough. Why rain on me? Your dogs never contribute. You never do anything. Just ask yourself, what have I done for mankind? Well, I haven't bitten anyone on the leg lately. It's kind of negative, but it's something. My life is full of unsuffered consequences. I'm not crazy. I'm just withdrawing from the world. We all have our hang-ups. Now on to the second book. It figures it always rains on our generation. I'm starting of thinking, uh, I'm thinking of starting some new hobbies. That's a good idea, Lucy. The people who get most out of life are those who really try to accomplish something. Accomplish something? I thought we were just supposed to keep busy. Our generation has been given the works. All of the world's problems are being shoved at us. Now, I will comment and say that a lot of generations have said that. And just about every generation says that. What do you think we should do, says Linus? Stick the next generation and the majority of people do stick the next generation. They stick the next generation by reproducing and by adding more problems to the world and by adding more children to the world who bring problems to the world and who encounter problems themselves. So, if you want to stick it to the next generation, go ahead and have children. Thank you for watching my video.